Where's your av- Oh yeah, you don't have the game yet. <laughs> I don't have the game yet. I was like, where's ass. your avatar, bruh? <laughs> Look at mine. <laughs> oh, welcome to your franchise. What do you call it? Not... Good... ...ness. <laughs> no, no, Everybody! Good, good one. <laughs> Gives me the planet Zeus's brushes. <laughs> I want it. And here we go. Hey there, guys. Mass Bandit here, and welcome to Brocoaster Planet. Nope, I messed that up. Hey there guys, Mass Bandit here, and I'm so excited to bring to you Planet Nope Part. <laughs> hey there guys, First Mass episode of Shut up! Bro Coaster Season Zoo. Shut up. You shut up. Hey there guys, Mass Bandit. I am the spoon. Oh my god. <laughs> this is flashbacks of episode one. Hey there guys, Mass Bandit here, and I am so excited because this is episode one of Bro Coaster Season Zoo! You did it! And I have, as yeah. you can hear, as you can hear, joining, uh, always, it's going to be the two of us, it's going to be me, and it's going to be my main bro, N7, Mike. Hello. Big ass spoon in the house. Big ass spoon. We got to bleep those now. We're, we're taking this seriously. No messing around. <laughs> no 10 episodes. After the first... No 10 episodes to find ourselves. We're starting. We're hitting the ground running. <laughs> I was going to say, after the first minute, you don't have to bleep anything. Oh, okay, cool. Good thing we've been recording for like 40 minutes and have nothing to show for it. <laughs> we definitely took about 40 minutes to get through that intro. Bro Coaster, if you have no idea, go look. Um, there is an entire playlist, 42 episodes strong, an entire series. I think that's the first for both of us. Um, yeah. Yeah, we built a, co a park in Planet Coaster, a complete park, a huge park, a super detailed and realistic park, made lots of friends along the way, and now we're here to do it again in zoo form. Yeah. Yeah. So we're super pumped. Um, if you're familiar with Bro Coaster, we're going to have probably some of the same bros on with us this season, maybe some new guests. I have no idea. It's only episode one. We really don't know what we're doing. But our goal here is to create a super realistic zoo in all facets, from front of house, mm -hmm. back of house, peep perspective, animal perspective, everything. And the uh, space outside the zoo. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going to try that. Which is really going to be important. Which is... We're going to do constraints, because some people were like, uh, I, I think we want I think we want to contain the madness a little bit yeah i think so i think that'll be good so um in this first episode today it's going to be kind of grand planning kind of broad brush strokes kind of just getting the general vibe of where we kind of want some things to go maybe and talk about mm -hmm. our plan for this for this series and what you can expect <clears throat> yeah yeah because we we nerded out in uh planet coaster we mm -hmm. built this really cool uh american style theme park slash amusement park um and the big component of it was design and intent. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be doing the same thing here. Yes. But instead, we know what we want in this first episode. <laughs> so we're not going to be no avatar, with the no tools. drinky birds, unless they are actual <laughs> birds that are drinking. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so we are a little bit more focused because, like I said, we've done this before. So. Uh huh. If you're new to the channel, um, don't forget, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and head over to Mike's channel and subscribe right away because he's going to have all the other, all the even-numbered episodes, and I'll have all the mm -hmm. odd-numbered episodes here on my channel. You're going to want to subscribe yes. to us both because you're not going to want to miss any of it. Here's all right. Now. Here we are. Here we are. That's a very blank map. It's a very <laughs> flat map. Yeah, look at this. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 vibes, though. Hardcore. <laughs> Should we so, clear out all the trees? Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be important. All right. Here we go. Ugh. Oh, it's all gone. It's all gone. <laughs> oh. oh, that didn't change much. <laughs> See, I'm glad you're here. It'll help me nail. Because we got to nail scale. Nail scale right from We the have to nail go. scale immediately. Yeah. It's Otherwise, gonna, it's going to be too hard to eat us alive. Our entrance did not in no name landia did not do that right away so i'm gonna pause no. in here there we go so here's a person yep we don't have any hey different genders one. that's kind of nice yeah yeah they do that's it is really cool although i noticed i want to see here let's let's see <laughs> i think <laughs> all security guards are buff 
Yeah, <laughs> all security well, guards are sense. bigger. And all zookeeper, everyone else is not. Look at how happy she okay. is. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So one per... Hmm. How Hold are we going to do this? Do they have cars? No. Yeah. There's no scenery. For no oh, look at this. All right. There we go. Boom. An off-road vehicle. Okay. So a boulevard, is it going to be a three-lane or a two-lane? In both directions. Medium? Yeah. And we're going to want, like... Yeah, you want a little bit more space than that. How's that? <laughs> uh, probably a little bit more space. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a little bit so more So it needs natural. to be double that, then. Yeah, and then also include room for a median strip. Wow. Okay. And turn lane. Okay, so let's draw with the train tool, um, just to kind of get an idea. Oh, we don't have concrete as a train tool. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a feature. It's, it's fine. Fun. We're it's we're starting. <laughs> let's go up a little a bit. So it's numbers. The size is numbers, not actual feet or meters. This game. I think I like that. I don't think I have a preference. Oh, that's really green. Wow. I have not seen it's also any of generating these generating the grass too. Yeah, yeah. I have not seen any of these terrain paints. That's very dark, or very bright. Okay, so there we go. That's about the width we need. Wow, this is okay. Get complicated. So, um, uh, we want this area to be a parking lot, I would assume, right? Well, we want to give a little bit of an apron. So the The zoo doesn't need to be take up so much of the map, but it should be fairly centered, so that we can have room to do other stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like that. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Oh, this. And cool. then, um, what's going on with okay, this? Okay, so road? let's get. Let's get the road down because it looks like it's flat on the road, and then the zoo. This pops does out. not give us a lot of room here. If this oh, is let's our move main... the whole thing down then. Yeah, if this is our main zoo, this needs to be way down here. I figured, yeah, we'd have that down there, and then we just have the buildings um, on the lower apron there, and that would be pretty much it. So we could have service roads and stuff like that, but. Okay. Um... So I'm thinking maybe even. Does that give you enough room for parking? Yeah, parking can be right here. Okay, so the parking is actually per perpendicular. Uh, it's parallel to the footbridge. So each parking lot is is uh, the same direction. Oh, so they're both like this, or whatever way the footbridge yeah. is going to be. Which is going to be the opposite of what you currently have. <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, let's just go over because I don't know how much of this I'm cutting. <laughs> so what what we're likely going to do is that 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 road that is stretching out uh, horizontally is probably going to curve a little bit and and carry back so that we have more space for the pan panton, pantanal. Pantanal. Pan oh, we didn't even tell anybody what we're doing. So yeah. All right, so I don't know how much of this I cut, but. So far, we're in our grand planning stages, and uh, mm. man, aren't you excited you clicked on this video? <laughs> but this we'll is what we need. We this swear. is what we need. This is what, see, what you're seeing here is reactions to what we did last time. We didn't do mm. any of this, and it kind of bit us in the butt. Yeah. So we're going this off time, of Cincinnati, right? Cincinnati, Cincinnati Zoo. for this basic layout right now, yes. Mm -hmm. So ignore what's going on over here. We'll figure that out later. But we have, this is going to be our main road. Um, uh -huh. the, this little T intersection here is like the main boundaries of our zoo. And mm -hmm. we were just talking, you want to swing it down to the south. Uh, so we have bit, yeah. Yeah, more room to play with because our major expansion area is going to be here. So what we're thinking of doing, mm -hmm. our main inspiration for this zoo are, uh, is Lincoln Park Zoo in Chicago, which uh, mm -hmm. I'll throw some pictures up as we talk about this, actually. So um, Lincoln Park Zoo is, a, is like one of the top, is one of the 10 oldest zoos in the nation. And, you know, back in the day of animals in cages kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, but we're not going to be doing that. And neither does Lincoln Park Zoo anymore. Over the last several decades, they've really transformed the zoo into something a lot more modern. And, but there's still that old style. And that's something we're both really intrigued by. This, this old architecture with new ideas in animal habit. 
Uh, another thing that's really interesting, Mike's big strength is gardening and plants and nature and all that. And when I, I like sh- plants. He likes plants. Do 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 do. <laughs> when he sh- uh, when I showed him you pictures, you were all about it. Yeah. Anyway, we're combining Cincinnati Zoo because we like the way that this zoo sits up on a hill, mm-hmm. and terrain is important to making things feel very realistic. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I like the look of the old exhibits and the old deco structures of Lincoln Park Zoo. Yep. And just the ethos of that zoo in general. Yep. Agree. So the cool thing is we want the... Okay, so, so uh, here we go. Here's our, here's our design nerdism. Go ahead. Um, This entry that we're doing right now is the new entrance to the zoo. Because the zoo used to be... Uh, accessed from the park, which we will have, uh, we will have a park on the backside as well, um, just just to kind of uh, as place setting mm-hmm. or as uh, place making. Mm-hmm. So this new area, this this is now a private zoo. So they do take uh, tickets, and so the parking lots um, were added, and so this this new land was bought. And this new bridge to access the zoo was bought, but I, I mean I, they didn't change their entrance, but they did have a they did convert their uh, old exhibits into this really spectacular right uh, African savanna or F for Lincoln F Park or something. Uh, yeah, they have not really. Am I thinking of something different? We've been doing so. a lot of research. Lincoln Park Zoo is still just a, it's still I mean it's not it's still just donations and so um no oh, animals it's just that fit into that biome no it's just gorillas fight me bro I was just there there's only gorillas I in there. just I watched just, a video I swear on to God, it, right? there's only with birds and everything <laughs> it's not the gorilla exhibit that's all right look at this you know oh this is season this is planet zoo worthy right here. I'm gonna actually watch this. That's video. really tall, dude. What is? That's really tall. <laughs> that's, that might be a little too tall. That looks a bit like a, uh, a train bridge. If you don't know, <laughs> Mike has control issues. <laughs> and so he likes to change my stuff around. Metal clad roof is the only recolorable. R- no. That Vertical so wooden ridiculous. planks and metal clad are the only recolorable. All right, we're going to be making a lot of shit with this. And look, I can't recolor them. <laughs> you have to individually. Isn't that spectacular? I kind of want to stop recording for a while until we have something okay. to show. Yeah. All right, so are we just being like, okay, this is what we made. We're not even showing like the progress of it. We're not I don't have it. any progress to show. So how about that time jump? <clears throat> <laughs> Snap. Snap. Wow. Things. Yeah, I've actually worked on my uh, first video for my own personal project. <laughs> while you uh, were several hours this. later. Uh, so it took a while. We decided that... Um, I should just go build some stuff, and yeah, I spent John, all... John wasn't having me uh, uh, backseat to drive his it would, We would have murdered each other, and you would have been, <laughs> would have been bored out of your skull. <laughs> so I'm actually going to do... Look, I'm going to build. Look, I'm building. See? Yeah. You were concerned. I think this is awesome, and uh, having you. now built in the game, I understand your frustrations and struggles. Yeah. Like, we were trying to stay as positive as possible before we actually started playing the game. <laughs> There's going to be, like, a huge mood shift between us. Yeah, well, it's... Mm. <laughs> it's very clear. Let's just say one thing. It's very clear they focused on management, or at least that's what they... You know, like, there's a lot yeah. of issues with the builder. There's a lot of issues. Not being able to recolor multiple objects at once. The advanced move tool. Actually, I did not have the advanced move tool issue. And if I did, I would have cried, so... Yeah, I didn't have, I haven't had that yet either. Uh, but so, everything I'm doing is organic so far. Right. So if you don't know about that tool, uh, if you push X, you bring up here. I'll show you. If you push X and bring up the advanced move tool, so watch it do it this time. So 
I just push control X and if you push X again, it gives you the, you have the radiuses or the moving mm -hmm. on the X, Y, and Z and X alters between them. But for whatever reason, uh, at some point, if you play and do something wrong, I don't know what it is, um, it'll freeze on you and you won't be able to switch between the two. So what you got to do, and people are going to laugh, is, is instead of doing that, you have to come up here and click. Yeah, that has been driving time. me absolutely freaking nuts. Yeah, and you would think, well, that's not a big deal, except it's a total time waster and it totally disrupts any sort of flow you could run into. I mean, let's just get it all out on the table right now. The fact that we can't advance color a bunch of multiple objects, the fact that so much of the scenery is not recolorable is killing me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's going to really... It's going to cause us to... Everything's going to have to go slower because we can still do yep. cool things, unique things, things that aren't in the game. Like this little theme here, not in the game, but it's going to take like three times as long. And, and that part of it was also just learning what we have to play with you know mm -hmm. now that it's open wide open it's just it's just different so this looks so good though thank that you i'm amazing. glad you think so it's like it's simple but i need to think actually i need to it think looks so much pillar. like the source material which is well, good. very surprising and we're definitely going to need a bridge mm -hmm. <laughs> a nice little bridge uh truss or something yeah it turns so. out i was way off on my initial calculation Oh, as far as height goes? Yeah. Actually, you're not, because look at where we were. Oh, okay. You aren't. Because well, What I did is once I changed the height to account for this little terrain shift, it actually put it pretty much right where you thought. Mm -hmm. um, and I had some Jeeps here. I had a Jeep over here. Let's move this Jeep. Uh, I had Jeep stacked. I said, how oh, many okay. Jeeps tall was it? I had it at two Jeeps tall, and that just wasn't <laughs> enough. So we are measure. now a clear... What? <laughs> That's a unit of measurement. Yeah, that's Jeeps. three Jeeps tall. It's about I'd, I'd say it's about eighteen feet, maybe a little. So more. So yeah, you could easily get a box truck or a semi. Yeah, there. that's what I thought because you get a semi through it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I don't think this is a major thoroughfare that would need that, but just in case. So yeah, so I still have to get in there and make it actually look like a. Um, escalator. I was gonna. I was gonna say yeah, we can we can work on that a little bit. Just make yeah. the. Make the dividers, make the paths a little bit smaller, and make it look yeah. like it's actually an escalator. Because what we originally had, the double paths that we had, yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> it was far <laughs> too massive. And it just I seemed... didn't know what you were doing. I thought you were just holding on to paths for some reason. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to let him do this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just it dawned on me. And I looked at a picture uh, inside. There's, you can go inside of it. And I've got it set up. We can, we'll decorate this to actually look like an elevator and stairwell, I'm assuming. I'm assuming nice. that here would be the stairwell, and then yeah. here would be the ele like here's the elevator, yeah, and then or down elevators here is like yeah, and down here's like the lobby for it. So cool, yeah. yeah. Like so we can dress that up. I actually made it so that it won't look like ass on the inside. And <laughs> in real life, in reality, this is all glass. This is all encased in glass, and I wasn't mm -hmm. able to do that just because we don't have the glass pieces for it. But I did use the glass up here. Mm -hmm. and I kind of like the little shine it gives. Uh, yeah, I like Different that too. materials rather than more corrugated um, metal roofing. So mm -hmm. had to do some custom roofs. Didn't put the details in. Didn't put the, the corrugation in. I should probably go back and do that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do that before I ship it. Wow, we are really phoning it in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> episode one, already phoning it in. Well, you know what it is. You reach a point where you're just like, I just want to be done with it. <laughs> and I was tr I was trying so hard not to be good enough with it. I was really trying hard to nail it. And yeah, the I funny thing is, this is more than you did in your first four weeks of, of season one. <laughs> well, someone kept interrupting me in season one. So. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> well, at least you can't throw a coaster in the middle of this. <laughs> uh, I will find a way. I've, I've, I've watched on Bro Nation. They've already started doing the gondolas. They're making gas and... stations. They're making highways. <laughs> it's a zoo game, and they're making everything but. But then here we are, the leaders of Bro Nation, and... We've got an es We've got a parking structure. <laughs> we've got a big ass elevator building. Huzzah! That's right. I thought you said we were gonna build. No, I didn't say that. Oh, all right. <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah, you I did. Put, I put a build. I did. I put a put a wall right here. <laughs> I put this this Piece wall wasn't sucker. there. Now I put the wall. All right. In there. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, what are your plans gonna be for? What are you gonna try and get get done? <laughs> 
Um, I guess I'm going to try and place make. I mean, I think about building that retaining wall, making sure the the zoo, kind of making sure the levels work too, and uh, mm -hmm. maybe, I don't know. It's, it's not going to be a very interesting episode. We're not going to get to animals anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's watch our well you won't either i'll say watch our individual series for that but <laughs> it's all gonna work and it's all gonna be really awesome but you just gotta you just gotta trust that we're gonna get you there trust in me it didn't quite go according to plan today but it never does does it never does you know what the, we need the first episode is always difficult you know what we need what uh, a guest <laughs> To start we, we working need, on it. We need it. a guest. Yeah, we need a guest to fix all of this for us. Oh. Don't you think? I think so. Who are we going to call first? Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. I would, I would start with Ruble. Yeah, but he's busy. Yeah. He's been posting some good stuff. Yeah. Some good stuff. There we go. All right, guys. So I hope you're excited. Um, mm. Mad progress, obviously. Man, mad progress. <laughs> Let's just get one more view of this amazing structure. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so that's going to do it for episode one of Season Zoo. <laughs> I, I'm Mass Bandit. And I'm N7. We'll see you for the next one, guys. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Have a great day. I oh, swear Lordy. to God. What time is it? Two, two, four times in the game long? Eight, three, nine, two, like five hours. <laughs> I haven't even taken a break. I need to eat. I'm so hungry. <laughs>